I'm celebrating 500 subscribers, doing various things like trying out some lightsabers. Can you Pokemon card today? But first, my reaction of three and a half years of working on YouTube videos. Oh my gosh, thank you so much for 500. <laughs> look at that, look at that. Look, look. <laughs> look at that, look at that. Look, look. Let me move that mouse out of the way. 500, <laughs> let's go. Let's go! My camera tripod broke. I could not find my other microphone, so the audio is kind of terrible, hence why this voiceover. I tried cutting a hole in the plastic container, as well as tried cutting it in half, and a few other things, as you can see here. I had a lot of fun. I do plan on making a full video completely dedicated to just testing out the lightsabers. Please give me some ideas what to test it on. I used to think lightsabers were impossible, and so was YouTube. You guys proved me wrong that I can actually make a difference in your life. Don't know why I'm being so nervous making this video. It's a bundle of emotions right now. The best video I think I've ever made. But let's backtrack and if you want to go ahead and skip that, there's a timestamp down below. If you just want to see the cool stuff. Crazy to think about how I went from just some random boy figuring out his place in the world. As soon as I graduate high school, uh, starting YouTube. This actually, believe it or not, is not my first YouTube channel. This is my second YouTube channel. My first one is deleted. You won't be able to find it. I honestly never thought that I could actually get to where I am at 500 subscribers. I thought I would get to like 20, maybe 30 and quit. And yet here we are still making YouTube videos. It looks so much different. I've got desktop. I've got five terabytes of storage, multiple monitors, cameras, tripods, heads sets, lights, shares, green screen. I bet you guys, 500 of you, I didn't think I would get this far. There are times where I was just going to throw in the towel and say, I'm done. I'm walking out. This is what I love to do. And even though I'm not doing it full time and I have made no money on it. In fact, I've actually lost money from some of these videos, believe it or not, especially on the equipment. It's all worth it. It just blows my mind. I'm, I'm able to do this type of stuff because I'm just a normal person. If someone had told me that I was going to do YouTube and get over 100,000 views and make multiple videos with large creators and even just get to talk to large creators outside of YouTube, I would have taken off my glasses and called you crazy. I would call you on the world's first Apple phone and be like, ah, hello, you, you're lying, sir. Ma'am, this isn't true. I would never do that. And yet life has unlocked this kind of mystery box thing and who knows what would have been inside. Can anybody take a guess? Go ahead and leave a comment down below if you know what's inside. It's YouTube. I designed this ring when I got 100,000 views under my old brand name, Shards of Gaming, to celebrate that. And it's just, we're just hanging out, you and I. To sit down, stop trying to click away. If you're new here, maybe subscribe, give, a, give it a like. And so now, I've been doing more vlog type stuff, commentary stuff. I just want to do more real life stuff. Instead of making the channel about gaming, I want to prove wrong the people that say you cannot build a channel around yourself because people do not care. Because if you think about it, people didn't care about the game that I created at first until I made them care and showcased the, some good parts of it and even some gameplay. To the point where Twitch streamers, Reddit, and other YouTubers played my game. And of course, you know, a bunch of random gamers played it as well. Okay, yeah, at first people aren't going to care about your channel or you or your stuff. That's how you get people to care about it. That's what this is on um, YouTube Tip Series because I wanted to give you new creators the advice I wish I could have started with. That was all recorded before I joined Arax Creator Now program. Speaking of giveaways, let's go give these Pokemon cards away. I went to a mall to give away the Pokemon cards. So it's exactly 7. We have... This place closes at 8. So we have literally one hour. So yeah, I'm actually in a mall right now. We're going to give away all of these cards. It's like about... Like... 3,000 cards? 
3,000, 4,000, I don't know, but yeah. I still kind of have the jitters about this. I'm still surprised I'm actually doing this right now. This is way out of my comfort zone. So we're gonna be going up to random people. Um, maybe even get them to subscribe like you guys have. I don't know. Hello, uh, quick question for you. What's up? Do you guys like Pokemon cards? No. Wait, what? I don't. Alright. I'm just filming a YouTube video. Um, <laughs> I've got like 3,000 Pokemon cards I'm trying to get rid of. <laughs> yeah, like actually. Can we... Can I get rid of them? Why? Yeah. Nobody is actually wanting these cards. We're now granted because I'm nervous and I'm not a people person. I've only talked to literally two people. But as you guys just saw, I had the camera face the wrong way and I'm super nervous about this stuff. You wanna do me a favor? By chance you wanna take a bag of Pokemon cards? You wanna take a bag of Pokemon Yeah. Like just like just take a bag or even two bags out of there. Okay. I'm doing a YouTube video. Okay. Thank you. You can also uh there's a hundred grand the candy bar if you want one of those too. Alrighty. Have a great day, man. Thank you. Hello, uh, quick question for you. Uh, do you guys like Pokemon cards by chance? No. Alrighty. Have a nice day. Why is it so hard to just give away things for free? Like, seriously. Hello, uh, quick question for you guys. Do you like Pokemon cards? No. Alrighty. Have a nice day. Quick question for you all. Yeah. You guys like Pokemon cards? Oh, uh, yeah. Go ahead and take some. Like, for real. Take a bag, take two bags each. I don't care. I'm doing a YouTube video, but I'm just giving them away, basically. Oh, cool. Thank you, man. Thanks. You're welcome. Appreciate it. Have a good night, guys. Finally had some success with giving cards away. I think I'm actually starting to get a little less nervous about this. Just a little bit. I'm still kind of nervous, though, because, you know, I don't usually go do people things. <laughs> I usually stick to myself in my apartment. I just realized the candy is still there. Nobody has taken the candy at all. Question, sir. Do you like Pokemon cards? No, what? Do you like Pokemon cards? Yeah. You want some? Like for how much? Free. Just take them. I'm doing a YouTube video where I'm giving away a few thousand Pokemon cards. Cool. Take two packs if you want. Thank you. Alright, I got a little cousin who like Pokemon cards. Oh yeah? I don't know if you got one that's like DX. Nice. So I'm gonna give her these for sure. So it just turned 720. It's been exactly 20 minutes. I'm still kind of nervous, but we gave away, I think, six bags, five or six bags. I hope that was a positive impact for them. Here's some of the other impacts. Second subscriber, I hope you keep doing what you're doing. Keep working hard, mate, and you achieve your goals. See ya. It'll be for short. Smiley face. Hey, friend. Smash that like button for the YouTube algorithm. Epic gameplay, XD. <laughs> nice channel. Epic. Well done, smiley face. Worked a sub. <laughs> First. Lol. Wow, I'm kind of inspired. That's why I started YouTube, and I'm at 36 subs now. Now you're a great help. Thanks. Good luck, man. As long as you are always improving, the one day you get your lucky break, you'll be able to meet the demand of your newly acquired audience. First. Happy birthday. Haha! <laughs> great video. Love your channel. Ooh, nice friend, bro. New supporter. Keep going. Poggers. Awesome video. I subscribe. Wish we were friends. Truly awesome. No views, sweet likes. Do you choose some drugs again? Give me a shout out, please. <laughs> I've gotten to meet so many different creators through this process and it, it's been really cool the people I've met, just the community that's built around this, whether it's in Discord, YouTube, Kick, which one I used to do that. In fact, you changed a whole bunch of lives and what I mean by changing a lot of lives, you know, you, you have a, a million niches and everything, like you're exploring everything and you're finding the right audience around you around you and finding the right audience and i'm really glad and stumbled to actually pull pull up a good like a good channel to actually watch here and there you know and i see a lot you approve a lot so much and i feel like whatever path whatever path you're going on right now is a good path you're going on right now <laughs> it got me one of uh, my greatest online friends without your channel i would have never found you and I appreciate your friendship more than anything. So yeah, it made my life a lot better because now there's one more person that I really like in this world. Now you also have sparkles. Everybody needs sparkles. 
I mean, you must have done something, right? Otherwise, you wouldn't be at 500, right? Congratulations. I mean, that's, that's like the content creator grind, right? I wouldn't know. I do stuff for fun. Happiness! <laughs> Because, like, it's a very special occasion. Honestly, you've helped me express my creativity on another level that I didn't even know was possible. Without Retropath, I wouldn't have found a good chunk of my ideas. Your growth in making content has been very inspiring for me, and it's amazing to have friends like you who share the same interest. YouTube is something surreal, and we're never going to get anything like it again. So when you hit that 500 subscriber mark and other milestones, remember the lives you positively changed. Not only mine, but countless others. This is now my favorite YouTube achievement. Better than 100,000 views or getting a shout out, and we're not done yet. The next goal is a thousand subscribers.